This is my favourite place in London because it's the only quiet spot for miles around. Like many people, I spend most of my day rushing around, answering the phone, responding to emails, attending meeting after meeting. I never seem to stop doing things. I'm tired of constantly being busy. So whenever I can, I grab a book, find a quiet spot and relax. But then, after a while, I get bored. My mind starts wandering and I zone out. So I swap my book for my phone and go online. Then I check my emails. And before I know it, I'm working again. I hate being busy all the time, but I hate having nothing to do too. I think a lot of people feel this way. But isn't this a contradiction? How can we be busier than ever before and still feel bored? The first answer is that while we may all feel a lot busier, statistics show that we actually work a lot less than we used to. In Germany, for example, people work 41% fewer hours than they did in 1950. In the Netherlands, people work 40% fewer hours. In the UK, people work 24.6% fewer hours. And even in the USA, where working hours are generally longer than in Europe, the average employee spends 10% less time working than they did 65 years ago. So why do we feel busier? One reason might be that the boundaries between our home life and our work life are blurred. In 1950, most people worked in workplaces. So when they were at work, they worked. And when they were at home, they didn't. Today, many of us end up working at home in the evenings, even when we've spent a full day in the office. And that's if we work in an office at all. Technology means that more and more of us can work from home. So when we're at work, we're at home. And when we're at home, we're at work. Although we're working less, we never really switch off. So we feel busy all the time. And because we're used to feeling busy all the time, we get bored easily. In fact, the modern concept of boredom is relatively recent. The word itself first appeared in the Charles Dickens novel, Bleak House, in 1852. Over the last 165 years, it has become a popular way to describe tedious situations and activities, perhaps because tedious activities have become increasingly common. Before the 19th century, most people's jobs were physically demanding. However, the Industrial Revolution created factories and production lines. These production line jobs were usually very, very repetitive and as a result, boring. As the world industrialized throughout the 20th century, they became much more common. And by 1950, a lot of people were doing jobs that required little more than simple, repetitive actions. As a result, boredom became a very common problem. But then, towards the end of the 20th century, the internet arrived. Many people still had boring jobs. They had just swapped the conveyor belt for a computer. But between dull spreadsheets and uninspiring pie charts, they could access all kinds of things, from serious news stories to funny animal videos. Today, thanks to faster internet speeds and mobile technology, we now have access to instant entertainment wherever we are. But does this mean the end of boredom? Well, no. In fact, 
Many experts say we are more easily bored than ever before. The internet allows us to move quickly from website to website. So the minute we become bored with something, we can change. This culture of instant gratification has resulted in shorter attention spans. And as a result, we quickly become restless. Today, most of us work fewer hours and have more fun things to occupy our time. Yet, feelings of both busyness and boredom still persist. But what can we do? It might seem like a contradiction, but these feelings may have a common root cause. We simply do too many things too often. Perhaps we need to forget about doing lots of things at once and focus on one thing, like a book. <laughs>